always right on time, Mrs. Hudson. Well, doctor, how would you two get fed otherwise? You just constantly run about, working on something. Work never sleep, Mrs. Hudson. Well, neither do you two, by the looks of you. Where should I put this key? This room is such a mess. And please tell him these chambers are not a shooting range. You know he will not listen. Well, make him listen. Oh, and I almost forgot. A telegram arrived for you, Mr. Holmes. A young chap brought it in this morning. You're welcome. So, what does he say? As per usual, the Scotland Yard has a case they cannot solve. They're in a dire need of a fresh perspective. The game is on, Watson. The game is on. Are you coming or not? Good evening, Lady Duncan. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my associate, Dr. John Watson. We are here on the behalf of Scotland Yard regarding to your husband. Mr. Holmes? The famous detective? The one and only. Well, please, come in. Thank you, lady. explaining to us in detail what happened. It's my husband. He's gone missing a couple of days ago and he hasn't returned. I'm incredibly worried and I fear something dreadful has happened to him. Why would you think that? Perhaps Sir Duncan had urgent matters to attend to and will be back shortly. No, he's never absent for so long without telling me. He also looked very distraught and upset before he left. And he would not talk to me about it. We shall do our best to find him, Lady Duncan. But before we go on our way, can we just take a look at the greenhouse? If you believe it might help you find my dear Milton, then certainly. I must apologize though if I don't accompany you. For I'm feeling most faint. I must lay down and rest. Thank you, Lady Duncan. Take care. What do you think about all these forms? Do you believe we have a chance of finding the old man? I believe the Lady Duncan is so far down the quest street that she may never find her way out again. 
as a gentleman in concern, I believe the more time we waste, the more odds we can. What exactly are we searching for? Something out of the ordinary. Something that doesn't belong here. Have you found something? Your observations are keen as always, Mr. Watson. Meet me at 9 p.m. Meet where? That is something that needs to be discovered. Is that blood? That would be highly improbable. It is a capital mistake to theorize before one of us has any data. It requires some further attention and careful examination. Off we go, once on to the Baker Street. The chain is complete. It all makes sense now. Watson, on your feet! Quickly, time is of crucial importance! Where are we going, Holmes? Holmes, for heaven's sake, Holmes, would you slow down for a moment to enlighten me to where are we going in the middle of the night? My experiments has led me to believe that we need to go to Lumper Street. This is the street, isn't it? Yes, indeed. I assume they met on this street. For the factory closes before 9 p.m. So, dear Watson, let the hunt for the evidence begin. I will go see what happened. Go, go, but be careful. Oh my God. Who did we? Settle for ending his. I've got Sherlock. I'll let him go if you can find him. The destruction is inevitable. You stand in the way not merely of an individual, but of a mighty organization, the full extent of which Holmes, with all his cleverness, has not been able to realize. I want to have some fun. Follow the path I have laid out for you, Dr. Watson, and sniff out your dear old companion as a loyal hound that you are. The time is running out. Professor James Moriarty. Oh, Sherlock.